I kind of wanted to show you a little bit how the CalMotion LAN products work. Um, so I s basically set up a demonstration here. I have uh, in this example three machines, a Haas machine, a Fanuc machine, and a Mazex. So if you imagine this being on the pendant, um, this is an example of having three LAN units on a network. Um, so basically I have these three uh, machines and they're hooked to the LAN CNC's which would be in the cabinet and then I wired it also to a hub at the back here and um, right next to it on the left is a wireless device so this is a hub in the shop that would be then wirelessly connected to your company's network and then through the LAN devices that connect to the RC32 in your machine and that would then um, have these three control panels at each machine. Um, so what you basically do, um, it operates very simply. Um, if you have our USB products, it's basically a very simple um, menuing system. Um, so in this case, I have a file loaded already on here called fanprog.txt. The file can be any extension. In this example, it's just going to be a text file. So those are our three machines. So now we'll go uh, into the office and look at these three machines on the network. So here we are in the office. Um, on this uh, computer I have set up the three machines that you can see here, a FANUC, a Haas CNC, and the Mazex CNC as we see uh, saw outside in the shop with those three example uh, units in the shop. Um, so here in the FANUC we see the fan program.txt that I'd named in there. We also have the Haas. When I click on the Haas we would then see the Haas program and in uh, on the Mazak we also see the Mazak program. So um, you can see basically the two gigabytes of data that are out at the machine on the data server. You can then use the files that are out there at the machine and send them to the machine or save files from the machine's memory back to the LAN device. Or you can also run the, f the file that's here um, on the machine using drip feeding or DNC to the machine. So what you do basically is uh, if you wanted to add another file, so in this case let's add a file uh, 1xtxt to the Haas, I would just simply drag and drop that file, it would then drop and then now be on the Haas. So if I go look at the Haas, you would see it um, on the machine's data server out there. Next, I'd like to show you how to add a LAN CNC to your computer place here. Um, you can basically click the computer spot on your Windows 7 computer, click Map Network Drive. You then also uh, connect this uh, to a website down here. You click that uh, link. You then click Next and choose a custom network location and it says here FTP site and that's what we're going to connect to. So what we're going to do is reconnect up the FANUC uh, FTP uh, LAN data server and in this case the IP ended in, in 113. That is stored on the LAN INI file that is on each unit and that defines each unit's location on the network. Basically log on anonymously and then at this point we can give it the name of FANUC and get it back onto the network and then say finish. When we're done, here it is. So we click on FANUC and then our, there's our FANUC program still on the data server out at the machine.